Welcome back to the Wolf Weekly Vlog. Today we're going to be continuing our series on milk texturing and pouring. Today we're taking a little break from the fun latte art and we're getting a bit more serious with milk wastage and efficiency in pouring. What we want to do is minimise the wastage and the cost of goods in our cafe and save ourselves a little bit of time while we're at it. So there are two main ways we can achieve this. The first is related to efficiency and that's about splitting milk. The second is related to wastage and that's about selecting the right size jug for the right size cup. Righty, so splitting milk. Uh, there is a rule of thumb to follow here and that is that cold milk goes into a cold jug and hot milk goes into a hot jug. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of hot water into my split jug. So my smaller jug is called a split jug. I'm going to steam in a slightly bigger jug and put a little bit of that milk and pour off from it. Now what I want to do is preheat this using some hot water from my espresso machine and that's going to sit there while I texture milk in this one. Splitting milk for me was very challenging when I started out, um, but it is worth it. Instead of spending time individually steaming little jugs of milk, you can just steam one and pour off. Um, this is a necessity in takeaway, but it's also very beneficial for dine-in. When you do start doing it for dine-in, one thing you may notice, and this is something I struggled with, was that you poured off your first cup and it was beautiful, and your second cup poured off and the milk was way too thin and started splitting. So the way we're going to do this is quite counterintuitive to what we might want to do, and that's by adding in a little bit more foam. What we're going to do is have aside our split milk jug with hot water in it and pour our cold milk into our steaming jug. What we want to do is portion the correct amount of milk, and it's a little bit less than you might think. It's not exactly double what we would use to create a small jug. It's a little bit less because we're going to be adding in more air because we don't want a thin second cup. So what we do is we take it to a little bit below the spout, so that mark there, a little bit below that, and then we're going to incorporate air and then double again for the second cup. Alrighty, so a little bit more air. Next, we empty our split jug of any hot water and we pour off just over half into it, nice and gently, and a little bit back because we want to evenly split the levels of foam. This one's now ready to pour into our first takeaway or dine-in coffee. Pour off the remainder into your pouring jug and pour off the second coffee and you're off and away. This one will take a little bit more time to get comfortable with the correct amount of foam or air which you want to incorporate into your milk. So our second part that we're looking at today is JMS and that's the jug management system. And this is aimed at zero wastage in takeaways. If you're steaming your milk correctly and you're putting the right amount of milk in the right jug, there is no reason why you should have even a drop of milk left over. There is nothing more beautiful than pouring off your coffee, doing that and nothing coming out. Um, it is a pet hate of mine when I see people steam a little baby cup here in a jug like this and pour half a litre of cow's milk down the drain. It's not efficient for you or for your store. So what we're going to do is get our jug management system started. Each cafe will have slightly different sized cups for takeaway and dining, and you'll have slightly different sized jugs. So it is about getting comfortable with the specific amount of volume which you have in your store to jug sizes. As a general rule, you'll probably have a baby jug, which is about 360 mils. And this is perfect for dine-in coffee as well as eight ounce takeaways. So for my eight ounce takeaway, I know that if I fill directly at the bottom of that spout, um, then I'm going to texture my milk correctly, pour it off with zero wastage. For 12 ounce, I just move up to my medium sized jug. And that's about a 600 ml jug, 12 ounce, zero wastage. Now I want to start doing combinations because obviously we're not steaming all of our takeaway milk separately, we're combining our milks. Uh, what I want to do for two eight ounces is chuck this in a 600 ml jug now these jugs aren't designed to go more than a centimetre either side of the spout, uh, so what I want to do is a centimetre above and that's going to do me two eight ounces. When I want to start doing 12 ounce jugs, we move on to what we like to call the party jug. And so to the bottom of the spout here, we'll do two 12 ounce jugs exactly. There are other size jugs out there, you may have even bigger ones or you may have somewhere in between. And as a rule of thumb, most of them, if you're filling them to the base of the spout or just either side, you will be able to get any size cup you want out. For dine-ins, we don't have zero wastage, unfortunately. We do need a little bit left in the jug, otherwise we get a little blob on our latte art. 
but for takeaways, the aim is zero wastage and I hope you start achieving it. See you next time.